it's premiere season. Thank God. <laughs> so my television pick. No Calicax. Week, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dueling decades. All right, Man Crush, you have the lead. We are into our first two-point round. We got the hot products round left and the television round. Where are we going next? We're going television. TV. Let's do TV. It's uh, it's that time, uh, September 27th, 1985. And all I got to say here is hallelujah. Because after <laughs> three years of doing this show, there like it's one of the things you figure out along the way. Like There's definite like seasons to the way the show works. And as you've seen over the past several months, like, you know, you have the summer television in the summer. It's typical shit. You either get reruns or you get like channels trying things out, but those shows never stick. So honestly, like most of the year is that way for television. That said, when September and October roll around, this is like the Super Bowl for this show in regards to television. So at least for the next couple episodes, we're going to have some real bangers here. I, th I think so. And I think it's going to be stiff competition probably even today. So I'm kind of excited to see what, you know, everyone else brought to the table for this round, but let's go September of 1985. Fantastic for television. Matter of fact, there were over 30 new shows that debuted in September of 1985. And there were actually a few that were like iconic shows that began in September of 85. So obviously making this selection, it was pretty difficult but for me. There's one particular show that I never missed growing up, and it was this one. And that's why I decided to go with it. Uh, this particular show, it lasted for seven seasons, 139 episodes, two made-for-TV movies, and a reboot that lasted for five seasons, albeit a, a, not nearly as good as the original. And a parody movie that's probably the last funny comedy to come out of any comedy back in 2010. So, like, this... The show, it, it's got legs, right? Uh, the show, it's all about a secret agent named Angus who sported one of the more iconic TV mullets of the 80s. You know, there's, there's something to be said about rocking a mullet for seven years, especially when it's not like a manicured, like Uncle Jesse mullet. Like you need to sport that cut with extreme confidence. So people don't think that you're just stuck in a time warp in 1986. And this dude managed to do that like effortlessly. You know what else he did with these? In two minutes or less, he can create an explosive out of Alka-Seltzer, Alka six orange peels, a tampon, a broken light bulb, duct tape, and a paperclip. Wow. Do I even need to say more about this one? I mean, it's the show that gave us the term MacGyvered. Like I MacGyvered that. I did this. Night Court. Yeah, it, this is this single-handedly started the Swiss Army knife craze in 1987. I give you MacGyver, September 27th, 1985. All right, Joe Finley, what did you bring for the television round? All right, he gave a good, uh, very good pick. I enjoyed MacGyver very much. Uh, I had a, an embarrassment of riches for TV. I had a very difficult decision, much like yourself. Uh, I went with a season seven season premiere of arguably one of the best shows in the history of television. And not only that, it was part two coming off of a cliffhanger that ended season six. I give you on September 17th, 1995, The Simpsons and Who Shot Mr. Burns part two. <laughs> so... In May of 95, uh, Mr. Burns was shot, and we didn't know who did it, and it led to a summer of discussion and contests and all sorts of different things. I remember being a kid and having discussions with people all summer long. Who do you think that it's going to be? I like, and, the, and they wouldn't let you forget because they had a big contest going on. You had to call 1-800-COLLECT to enter. Or you could go on Springfield.com, a website they made just for this. They got over 500,000 hits over the summer period that it was live. And you entered, and if you guessed correctly, and they've selected you as the winner, you would be animated into an episode of The Simpsons and immortalized. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so the episode comes out, but prior to the episode, there's actually a special called Springfield's Most Wanted, hosted by John Walsh, 
where they actually dissect the pre the previous episode. They look at all the clues and they talk to stars Dennis Franz, Courtney Thorne Smith, Chris Elliott, Ke uh, Kevin Nealon, and a bunch of other people who all come on in to weigh in and who they think the shooter is going to be. Uh, they actually had a Vegas odds maker for come in and show off the actual board because people were gambling on who shot Mr. Burns uh, with Homer being a two, the two to one favorite at the time. Um, they wrote many endings. They recorded a few of them with Harry Shearer. They animated one alternate ending, but in the end, it was Maggie Simpson who had shot Mr. Burns. Uh, the episode also featured Tito Puente as himself, rocking out the Emmy-nominated Senor Burns song. And uh, it was just a huge uh, spectacle. Entertainment Weekly made it uh, The Simpsons' top 25 episodes of all time. Uh, they had 12.3 million viewers. It was Fox's number one show of the week. And yeah, it was just a gigantic happening season seven, episode one, The Simpsons. Who shot Mr. Burns? All right, gentlemen. You know, it's September. School is back in session. And like Man Crush said, it's premiere season. Thank God. <laughs> so my television pick. No Calicax. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So my television pick uh, this week is a show that ran for four seasons from September 9th, 1975 to June 8th, 1979. I present to you a series that was actually based on a stand-up routine from the show's star, where he recounts all of his experiences as a remedial high school student. September 9th, 1975, 8.30 p.m. on ABC. Let's all sit down and watch the debut of Welcome Back, Cotter. Oh with the God. episode the great debate now this is one you probably have seen in reruns this is the one where cotter arranges the debate between the sweat hogs and the debate team so the show stars comedian gabe kaplan alongside martha strassman robert higgs uh lawrence hilton jacobs ron palillo and a relative newcomer mr john travolta as the unforgettable vinnie barbarino uh, the original title of the series was just going to be Cotter, but composer John Sebastian had the difficult duties of writing the theme song and the lyrics, and he couldn't find any words that rhymed with Cotter. So instead, <laughs> he decided to compose Carter. lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> so instead, he decided to compose lyrics to a song that illustrated the premise of the show, and that Welcome song was back. called Welcome Back. Well, the producers were so impressed with the song. They changed the name of the, of the show to Welcome Back, Cotter, and released the song as a single. It went number one on the charts, May 8th, 1976. So let's go to the pages of the High Point Enterprise out of High Point, North Carolina, September 9th, 1975, where an excerpt from an article reads, ABC's Welcome Back, Cotter, a sitcom co-authored and starring comedian Gabe Kaplan as a young Brooklyn school teacher was shown via closed circuit in advance, but there were some technical woes. The network's engineer somehow let the audio portion of a live tennis match on the circuit, causing <laughs> cries of 40 love atop punchlines of up your nose with a garden hose. I give you welcome back, Cotter. September 9th, 1975. <laughs> wow, great. And you didn't even mention uh, the fact that Mace used that song when he came back. Mace. Welcome back. Yeah, Mace the Rapper used that. You don't remember that? Oh, did he? Welcome no. back. That was his <laughs> Welcome thing, back, but... yep. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, let's throw it down. Okay. Let's throw it down to our guest judge, Robert Tepper, for the Bring ruling it over. on the television round. <laughs> He's like, Bring, Bring it, it over, over here. here. <laughs> Bring it over. I'm very anxious to talk about this. <laughs> okay, so the MacGyver became a, became a term. And, you know, it I always thought it was very funny, but the show sucked. Okay, there was no doubt about it. It was just, it was just bad TV all over. But you know, you got to remember, I was born in the six in the fifties, sixties. By the seventies, they were throwing out toilet paper. You know, and MacGyver was one of those things he could beat you up with a paper clip. You know what I mean? It was it was great. It was great. But I couldn't. Uh, I can't say I, I ever watched a whole episode. I I'm sorry, man, gross. But I yeah. never did. But it is a famous term, and it did it did become part of our nomenclature. Yeah, <laughs> our, it was part of the. It was part society. of my lexicon. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, 
you know, so uh, I will, I watch, I listen, you can't watch a, a podcast, but I listen to Mark Maron a lot, you know, uh, what WTH, okay, WTF. Yeah. I changed You tried to censor your censor. I tried to it. clean it up. Sorry. <laughs> and Gabe Kaplan was on the other week. Oh, really? And so interesting about that show how how they 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 had this premise, you know, they had this premise. Gabe Kaplan was like one of the early comedians who was able to get this thing on the air. And they gave him so much crap, man. They gave him so much, so much difficulty. But Gabe was Gabe was like he's he's like one of those icon icon comedians. You know what I mean? He came up with everybody, and you always thought like, well, where did this guy come from? Well, was he a Vegas dude? Who was he? Because we were so young, you know. But in actuality, he was actually a very well respected comic who paid his dues, and this show was a huge break for him. And John Travolta, oh my God, you know, crazy. The Simpsons, I don't know, they must put heroin in those things, man, because every generation, <laughs> every grandchild, every son, every, every, my dog, everybody watches that show, man, and loves it. And I love it, too. Um, it's just, I don't remember that whole thing, but my God, was that, that all, that all went on, right? They already they did all that. <clears throat> but I, I got, just because of, my my heritage, who I am, and who I came up with, I got to give it to Welcome Back, Carter. I got to do it, guys. Really good. Wow.